remove the pad from the protective wrap. Examine the pad to be sure that it's free from defect. Use a thin layer of dressing or barrier when applying the cold pad to the area being covered. Hip cold pad right. The hip cold pad right has the following parts included. Hip cold pad right, long elastic strap, and short elastic strap. Apply cold pad to the hip with the hose extension down the leg. Apply an elastic strap over the cold pad and around the patient's body. Do not wrap the strap so tightly as to restrict blood flow or fluid flow. Position the long strap around the hip, securing it to the front and back. Place small elastic strap around the bottom portion of the pad to give it extra support. Adjust straps as needed. Hip cold pad left. The hip cold pad left has the following parts included. Hip cold pad left, long elastic strap, and short elastic strap. Apply cold pad to the hip with the hose extension down the leg. Apply an elastic strap over the cold pad and around the patient's body. Do not wrap the strap so tightly as to restrict blood flow or fluid flow. Position the long strap around the hip, securing it to the front and back. Place small elastic strap around bottom portion of pad to give extra support Adjust straps as needed. Connect the couplings on the pad with the couplings on the hose from the unit. Make sure both connections are properly seated. Listen for a click on each connector when they are pushed together. As a final check, Pull on each coupling to see if they are secure. Unless both couplings are properly joined, water will not flow through the system and no cooling effect will be realized. To turn device on, insert cord into connection on the back of the device and plug power supply into a wall outlet. Once all connections are secure and the device is ready, the power supply can be plugged into a wall outlet and then the back of the unit so that the patient can begin therapy. During device use, consult the instructions provided with the unit to answer additional questions that might occur. When the cold therapy treatments are concluded, remove the pad from the patient, disconnect pad from hose, and discard. Note, a Dondroid cold wrap may be substituted for elastic wrap or can be applied over the elastic wrap.